All right, I gotta do this really quick video because uh, I'm seeing PlayStation Now. You know, you know uh, that that service for this thing. The well, a few things, but if I could show it, but it's not showing up on the camera. Let me see. I'm a little drunk right now, so this thing, this thing called the PlayStation 4. I don't know if it's showing up here, and I got Far Cry 4 popping out of the disc tray. I get hyper when I get uh, drunk, but yeah, the PlayStation 4. Okay, so let's pop this over here. Let's zoom out. Okay, so uh, you know this thing here that I see called the Ouya? Uh, I can't see it from here. Let's see, we got my phone in my, oh, my phone's over here. All right, we got the Ouya, uh, or the phone, or whatever the fuck you call it. That's not the correct password to get into my phone. Okay, assistive lighting here, and we'll... This is the Ouya. I don't know if you can actually see it because I'm not looking through the lens there. But we're going to turn this thing on. I don't even know where the fuck it's plugged into. I think it's actually plugged into a different input. And my phone is input 1 because I can record it through input 1. Alright, so PlayStation Now came out with their... They're beautiful service, which is so affordable. Yeah, right. Okay. I was gonna get it if they actually thought that the, if they actually decided that the they could come up with a decent pricing for this. I mean, the the PlayStation exclusives are I actually really like the PS3 exclusives. Uh, I like them more than the Xbox 360 exclusives. Ugh exclusives, even though I like the Xbox 360 more than the PS3. Um, okay, so here we have the OUYA starting up here. Apparently we don't need to touch anything on the uh, HDMI switch box, so here you go. Even though it automatically switches everything with my setup, it doesn't always. Okay, so... I'll playcast this kind of update. I'm going to come back to you after updating. All right, I'm all updated now, so I should be able to launch this little Playcast bundle thing. And, uh, we're going to show you what the fucking prices are. Then I'm going to show you OnLive's prices. Because OnLive actually has a decent service now. They've uh, come back with something better. Uh, the, old, the old company went out of business, and the new company actually has a good idea. Um, they have good pricing, and they have uh, on-demand services and everything, but right now we're dealing with this. So we see these games here. It's not a lot. This is in beta. So we have these games here, so you see. It's not as many as PlayStation Plus. But again, this... Well, I'm going to tell you that this service works better than PlayStation Plus, even though there's only 23 fucking games. Okay, so we got that. That's what we got. Um, this thing can be either, you know, I'm playing it right now off my Ouya. It's built into some televisions, blah, blah, blah. All right, so what if I want to pay? Because right now I'm not a paying subscriber. What if I fucking want to pay? For a full game. I want to subscribe to a pack, okay? Let's subscribe to a pack of games. 23 games is the pack. Say bucks. Okay. You see, this is... I don't know that that's actually the pack. But I'll show you something else as well. But I want to show you how these games function. I already played that one, so it kind of seems not to let me play games. I want to go with something that's that I haven't played that All right. So this is on the Ouya. Remember, this is on the fucking Ouya. So I want to play a trial of Grid. I don't really like this game, but it's a more a little more intensive game compared to some of the other things, right? So everything here looks good. Um, it didn't have to go through some dumbass test that takes forever to see if my internet connection is good enough. Welcome. Please fill out your driver profile. Okay, so blah blah blah. 
Input latency is fine. We got nine. We got ten minute. Uh, ten minute trial to play for free. Yeah, this is great. Wonderful. I don't care. Um, use my real first name at least if I if they have it. Can't imagine they don't. It's not. It's basically a generic fucking name. Okay, it's not here. <laughs> really? My name is not here? <laughs> Can I, my name really not be here? Okay. Yeah, my name is not here. Wow, amazing. It seems like all girls' names. Yeah, because I'm a female, you dumbass. <sighs> la la la. Come on, we can go now. We can... We can take care of this. I'm gonna leave Grid out of this. Oh, there it is, Edward. There you go. Generic enough. I'm gonna leave Grid out of this right now. That's fucking free. Okay. Not no. Yes. Everything yes. Okay. Wonderful. New profile. Yes. All right. So then remember, again, this is on a console that you can get for under fucking You're now ready to race. under fucking $99. You can now get this for under $99. You can go online. Okay, so get now, you know, great, whatever. I suck at this game. I think the controls are terrible. But this is the idea is that you could see this and see that honestly it works better than PlayStation now. The price is better than PlayStation now. And the pack, by the way, includes every single game that's on here. So I don't know that, that like that's going to be the thing. But again, I'm going to show you a service that includes every single game you know, on the service at all in, in, in the world. Okay, so image looks great. So now this game is on Xbox 60 and PS3. <coughs> Sorry, my, my house is kind of dry and it's apparently causing me to crash. My house is dry now, my throat is dry and I can't. <laughs> Retire from the race, yeah, sure. I don't give a fuck, shut the hell up. But this is playing fine. I just want to show you that it plays fine. Yeah, whatever. Just restart the race. <coughs> I don't pay much attention. But the game is playing fine. Latency is fine. I didn't have it, you know, like with, with PlayStation Now, I've used it. And. Okay, every single time. Yeah, thank you. Could you stop, you know, telling me how to play? I could play like shit if I want to. I don't care. I don't give a shit if I last played so badly that, yeah, I don't know, it hurts. This current, the controls for this are so sensitive and annoying. But like the, the latency is fine. I have never fucking had a problem where the... The image breaks up, and I just can't play the fucking game. Okay, what the fuck? Who cares? Just let me play the fucking game like shit. Be like Steve Benway, I'm just playing the game badly. Show you what it looks like. I don't give a fuck. Look here, it could cost me two bumpers. I don't give a shit. But the, the game plays fine. The game looks great. In fact, it looks better than it did when, if I went or when, wherever I played it on the Xbox 360. And then fucking sold it for crack. Wait, does this game have like... Okay. Look at this dumbass. Whatever. 
But anyways, as you can see, it's not breaking up. Um, so I'm playing AAA games on a console that I paid under, well, I specifically paid $99. But you can pay under $99 and you can play AAA titles if you have a decent internet connection. And it's a seven dollars, actually, what, $8 a month did I say? Did I show? All right, fuck this. Um, what is it that I gotta go? Uh, L1, R1, L2, yeah, everything on the thing here. I'm gonna just exit the game. But it plays fine. That's what I wanted to show you. Playcast plays fine. Yeah, you don't get the PlayStation exclusives, but for the price that fucking they're charging for PS Now, it's hard not to just say, fuck it, I'll, I'll fucking buy a goddamn PlayStation 3 and the fucking games with it. The games aren't that expensive anymore. A lot of the games that you, you probably like are probably fairly cheap. Except for the newest stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to you with something on a tablet, okay? On a fucking tablet. Alright, now we have something else while I have the uh, other service running in the background on the Uya. This is a Shield tablet. There's also the Shield Portable, which is $200. Okay, so this is a service called OnLive. I think you've heard of it before. They came out with a new service. It's actually not so bad. Not like the last service they came out with. And as you see here, we have some games here. Sonic Generations, by the way, is awesome. Borderlands 2. We have these Dead Island games. Shadow of Mortar, a uh, fairly recent game, which you can't get on PlayStation now. Why am I pointing at the Ouya? Uh, so let's see if we can get to their services, as I can remember, because I just installed this. Uh, I believe I'm subscribed to this as well. Grid 2, by the way. And not that that's actually better, but, it, you know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so we have things like, look at this list of games here. So this is just stuff that I've played. Mortal Kombat, Saints Row 4. This is, now this is Cloudlift, by the way. Let's let you understand what Cloudlift is. Cloudlift allows you to play your Steam library, not your whole Steam library, but a good amount of your Steam library, um, through the cloud. Um, so games you actually fucking own, that you own and you can play on any PC and you've purchased, can be played through this, okay? Now, me, you know, I don't remember the prices. I don't know why. I actually got Cloud Lift uh, as a uh, another option for playing games. Even though I have a Game Street PC, I can take care of that. But we see all these games here. This huge thing. This is Cloud Lift. This long list of games that I paid for, not all of these games. These are games that are available. But there's a good amount of games that I actually paid for here that I could play for play anywhere. I could play these on my phone. Okay? Now here's the playpack bundle. I, I don't think I pay for the playback bundle, I'm quite sure I don't. <laughs> Start your free trial. That's actually cheaper than Cloudlift. And that has a mass amount of... Yeah, see, I don't have my, my payment set up there. Whatever. The fuck out of here. But I have a... There's a ton of games. They've had this service up for years. There is a mass amount of games here. Let me see if I can actually find all the games. So you can see what you get. Live game service bundle. Let's go to the online game service bundle. I think that's what it is. I wish they would let me see what, what was available. Okay, so it may not be as cheap as it used to be, but it's. Let's see, what do you. Cloudlift lets you play. I haven't seen this service in quite some time. 
Play anytime, anywhere via the internet. TV and cloud saves synced automatically across devices. Blah blah blah. Get the full pack on live bundle. Yeah, I think that's both cloud lift and um and uh <laughs> I'm looking at the screen for the Ouya. But yeah, I, that's basically I believe cloud lift and everything. That's everything. Um so let's see. Uh, yeah, play pack bundle. Okay, you get a free trial of play pack or cloud lift or whatever. The play pack gives you. Now, all the fucking services have these shitty fucking games normally, or good games that didn't really get very far. And you have all these. You have this big, big list here of games that even if it's twelve ninety nine, it's a better price than PlayStation now. Darksiders 2, um, a lot of stuff is Fear 2, Ghostbusters, you know, I mean, even if you go through the PlayStation Now bundle, you're going to find a lot of shit. Either a lot of shit or mediocre stuff. Just Cause 2. So you get the la 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 la. You get all this. This game's now on, uh, on Android. But it's not the HD version. So you get Red Faction, Red Faction, whatever. Uh, Saints Row, the third. We have the fourth. You get all this. La la la. For less than the you know, Tomb Raider, Trine, Unreal Tournament, War Thunder, every last one of these. And you get that for less than $20 a month. You get it for 12 Let's say you do get it for $12 a month, and I'm reading this wrong because I'm drunk. You get it for tw say you get it for twelve thousand. I could have sworn it's less. <laughs> um, you all right. Uh, I I my camera lost ran of uh, ran out of space, so uh, I completely forgot it where I left off. However, we're just gonna recap here. So PlayStation Now benefits. PlayStation 3 exclusives, which I feel are for, are awesome. Um, such as Uncharted and such, you know, things like that. Downside, the price is fucking terrible. Um, compared to any streaming service, games, movies, whatever, they are the worst. There's no streaming service that asks you for that much money. And then on top of that requires a PlayStation Plus ex subscription. Uh, what was it? What did I pay for a year? Too much. Uh, just to play games that you already freaking paid for. So half of that game you already paid for needs uh, another subscription fee so you can pay, play, pay, play the rest of the game. So you bought a game that's single player and multiplayer. The multiplayer, if you want to play that fucking game, has to be paid. To, you have a, a, you need to pay another fucking fee to play that fucking part of the game. Even though you already paid in full for that game. Too much. Okay? So, the PS3 exclusives are great. Now, PlayStation, the PlayStation Now only offers PlayStation 3 games. Zip. That's it. Willy-nilly. Whatever. 
That's all you get. PlayStation 3 games, that's it. The other services are based off of PC games, where PC has a huge backlog of games. They don't offer emulation. Well, actually, I, I can't say that. Um, OnLive offers Sega Genesis games and stuff like that. Normally, I don't really stream those games. I can play them natively on my phone. But they do offer. It is possible. But they don't offer emulators where you can stick ROMs in and stuff like that. Okay. But yeah. The performance of Playcast. Let's talk about Playcast. Now, Playcast is $8 a month. Okay. They offer better quality than PlayStation uh, now. Games are basically the same. All these games, all the games on all the services, there's just like, there are certain games where the developer, maybe the developer doesn't get much in sales or whatever for that specific game. So they're trying their hardest to get anybody to take that fucking game. And that's not to say that the games are bad. They're really good. Some of them are really good. Darksiders 2, which gets put on many streaming services, is one of my favorite games. Okay? And there are just some games that are really good that get on, put on these services, but they don't get, none of them, get the latest and the greatest. Okay? Or what people consider the latest and the greatest. And that's what people want. And they don't get them. Okay? That's, that's something of bad against all the streaming services. But when it comes to PlayStation Now, you get a bunch of kind of mediocre games. Some really good ones. Like I said, there are some games that may not have the most um, popularity, but they're really good. But a lot of those games really are on other streaming services you can get for cheaper. And really, what they have, which frustrates me because I really like those PlayStation 3 game exclusives, and I don't want to buy a PlayStation 3 because, you know, it's just a, a thing with the amount of uh, consoles I have in my area. And just not to have to purchase a PlayStation 3 would be fine. I don't mind playing through the games maybe and then canceling service whatever the fuck or whatever. But I love the PlayStation 3 exclusives. But that price is just not worth it. When you could basically, you know, buy a fucking PlayStation 3 and for like maybe the price of three, what, uh, less than a year, you could purchase a PlayStation 3 and games. When the games are going to be cheaper, and some of them already are, and really you're going to buy the PlayStation 3. So say you buy the PlayStation 3 and you buy a few games, you're going to end up having that all taken care of in less than a fucking year. Or you can sit there and pay out the ass for fucking PlayStation Now just so that you can play these games. And I'd rather fucking take the sacrifice of having a little bit of more of a mess at my freaking entertainment sister, center than buy a PlayStation 3... Uh, oh god, I, I'm getting... I'm sorry, I'm still drunk. You know, whatever, you get what I'm saying. It's just going to be too much money over the course of time to make it actually worth your while. So now we have our... our other streaming services. They offer PC games. PC games normally can look better than PlayStation 3. They don't always, if you... Depending on the hardware they're running on, depending on... If you're streaming them, how how much the your bandwidth, you know, whatever, how much they allow uh, for graphics settings and whatever. But uh, there are some some that run at the highest graphics settings and look a lot better. Playcast looks better. I keep hitting the fucking mic stand. Playcast games look better on my television than Xbox the Xbox 360 versions. So these games streaming over the internet, coming to my controller or whatever, whatever, stream, yeah. They work better and look better on my TV than they do on the Xbox 360. 
coming out of fucking Ouya, which is less, you can get less than, than $99. Okay, so then we have this online. Okay, used to be a really shitty service. I don't think it's so shitty now. I really wish they could. They get some good games. I won't lie. They get some really good games, but the, none of these services really can grab the latest and the greatest. And that's really not up to them. They really have to be able to, you know, like the developers have to okay it. And streaming is not exactly like everybody's favorite thing in the whole fucking world. But online have is a good catalog of games. A uh, good amount of them work very well. Um, their, their, their subscription fees are really good. And you can fucking play them on tablets and phones. Any fucking tablet and phone you basically want, unless it tells you it's not compatible. I can sit there and pull up a Galaxy S4 or whatever it is, and sit there and hook up a MOGA and start playing fucking um, PC games. Where, as long as I have an internet connection, or I can hook it up to the television, use it like a fuck console, play AAA titles. For way less than I could pull out my PlayStation 4 and get uh, on lives. I don't know, on live. What the fuck? PlayStation 4 and on live? What the fuck am I talking about? No, for less than I can actually uh, turn on my $400 fucking PlayStation 4. And download the goddamn app for, um, what is it, uh, PlayStation Now. And start playing, um, their, their, their on-demand service. Um, <laughs> I mean, okay, so let's, let's put it this way. It's, how much was it? It's like... Something like seven dollars a month, something like that. I don't remember the the, the exact amount. Um, for on life service, as opposed even twelve, as opposed to fucking twenty dollars a month for PlayStation Now. Okay, on a device that I more than likely already own, such as a phone or a tablet. Or I can buy a PlayStation 4. Yeah, you get PlayStation 4 games. I'm not really thrilled with that much. Um, you get the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Now. So on top of the, you know, of course you have to play for, you have to pay for PlayStation now, uh, Plus. Then you pay for PlayStation Now. And that adds up quite well. Over a year, that's, um, hmm. Well, for the, the, uh, what is it? For the PlayStation Now, it's like 180 a year. Okay? Then you have PlayStation Now, what is that, 60 a year? <laughs> so, when you get a phone, tablet, hook up a fucking controller... And start gaming like a few bucks a month. I mean, twelve, whatever the hell it is that they charge a month for a device that you more than likely PlayStation Now is a fucking ripoff. Still, I don't care what Richard Review Tech USA says, even though I watch all of his fucking videos. I'm not a fanboy. I just love his videos, even if I disagree with them. But. Uh, yeah, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the fact that he thinks that uh, PlayStation Now is actually a great deal. <laughs> I mean, I'll give you that they have a lot of games. They have a lot of great games, but online also does, and they're not charging that much. <laughs> I just, and you know, honestly, PlayStation Now has a lot of shitty games. They have a lot of crappy games. A lot of their games are like, Games that you can emulate on your fucking phone. It's almost like somebody said to them, Oh God, your fucking rental fees are too much. Okay, let's respond by offering a streaming service that costs too much. <laughs> I was so excited when I heard that PlayStation Now had their uh, streaming service. Uh... 
that was going to be available on my birthday, by the way. And then I heard the prices, and I was like, what fucking dicks? <laughs> Their streaming service is, again, another badly priced piece of shit. If Sony can't offer uh, any kind of streaming services for a normal price, and I kind of feel like they shouldn't offer it. They should wait for when it's affordable for the consumer because if they they can do any they can make their service as great as they want it to be, but if the consumer can't fucking afford it, then it doesn't fucking matter. Okay? If they released the PlayStation 4 for like six hundred dollars and said, Oh well you get kinda of like with the Xbox three sixty, or not the Xbox three sixty. The PlayStation, uh, oh Jesus fucking Christ, the Xbox One. They start talking about how much stuff the Xbox One has and how great that is. That's wonderful, but nobody could afford it. So that's pointless. And then they had to lower the price and they had to get rid of the Kinect and all that stuff. That's the idea. You could offer a plethora of everything and it doesn't matter if people can't fucking afford it. You need to make it affordable. It does not matter what you offer. I don't care how wonderful it is. I don't care if you jerk off to it every fucking night. It's still terrible. Because the price sucks and nobody can afford it. Okay? So they're already... You have competition. You have competition. See? See this competition? You have it. You need to try to do better. You need to at least meet what they have done. Then, yes, whatever. But honestly, PlayStation Now is a ripoff, and there are services that are better, and shit, you could plug your fucking phone into your fucking TV and have a better fucking uh, experience. And you can save money that way. And you could also just hold off until uh, they lower the price of PlayStation Now, which more than likely they will do, because there's no way in hell everybody's going to start paying for that crap. So hold off. I'm sure Sony will fucking lower the price, because they're going to have to, or they're going to really fucking get screwed. funny because it makes me think yeah, I was doing some videos about the uh, Google Cardboard thing and I was reading up on stuff like I always do uh, when I get something new and I saw Sony had a headset for your television it's a 3D headset kind of like a virtual reality thing it's like fucking a thousand dollars and it does, it's not even as good as the fucking Oculus Rift which doesn't even though I think it's a little bit pricey for what it does, it still is way better than Sony's little silly fucking headset that people actually complain like balls over. So, anyways, that's my thoughts on Sony's um, PlayStation Now service. I was really looking forward to it. Unfortunately, they decided to screw that one up too. Oh well, what are you going to do? We'll live. Thank you for watching. Uh, one other thing. I uh, wanted to point something out uh, while you're here still, apparently. Um, streaming services. Okay, well, I might as well throw this in. If you already have a GTX, was it 650 or later? you should be able to stream your own PC games from your home anywhere in the world or in your house. That's anywhere in the world as well. I think we may already know about this service here. But another thing, if you don't have those, you don't meet those requirements, we already have a service which is not even fully ready or it's in beta 
Now remember that this is the okay, this is the shield tablet. Now there's a shield portable which is now 200 bucks. This is not a full service, but this is grid. Be on the lookout if you're looking for a streaming service you can stream from a tablet or a portable device, which is 200 bucks. PC games. Right now, free. I can stream all this for free. And great quality. Really low latency. No problems. No space requirements. Whatever. And I can do this, honestly, over a 2 gigahertz router. Um, this is the same service that is being used by Playcast, and I can stream all this right now for free. There you go. But, of course, there's going to be a price later on. It's just, right now it's free. Um, check out for the price, because it could be easily better than PlayStation Now. In fact, I probably have to guarantee you it will be. Thank you for watching.